Chapter 11 Dream Sequence 4 at USAF Virtual Reality Hybrid Research Beta, October 17, 2021 The intrinsic value of people's enthusiasm is unshackled by the context of a real or fictional environment. So long as the world accords recognition for the applied fulfillment of this enthusiasm, it stands that people would not lose touch with their own reality. Reality, being the foundation of an individual's conventional wisdom, is a degree of experience that belongs to that single person. Hence, any such individual reality can be perceived by others as nothing more than mere imagination. This changes when the imagination is open to embracing a certain degree of widespread awareness, at which stage it has the potential to be perceived by anyone as reality. While the sense of fulfillment created in the virtual realm is hollow, the exact same sensations can be applied to fulfillment in the real world. Just like any other attempt to forestall death, a digital file can extract itself to elude deletion, so reality constrains itself to the biological lifestyle of each human being. In the century of the Great War and Revolution, the reigning ideology rejected private ownership and focused instead on the macroeconomy as the savior of humankind, but this idea self-combusted and completely collapsed. However, the policy gave rise to the now triumphal free market system, with people having learned the principles that create profound social disparity, the breeding ground for an escalating civil war to embrace globalism, which finally became the status quo. An array of equal forces, both repressive and feministic, were summoned to help people weather the titanic global struggle between these two systems. But as the present contestants became better able to do that, they stopped at nationalism, and religious intolerance arose, creating a feeling of brutality between them given their wounded egos from the past. When efforts to restore order once again failed, people felt compelled to return to their gilded cages. A society without competition is minor in development. Stagnation is the consequence of stability. Even so, technology has succeeded where religions and ideologies have failed. The immutable issues of ownership and fair distribution of limited resources will result in the drastic rollback of economic activity. Somewhat ironically, the notions of simple production and social utopia will find themselves back to back among the suddenly middle-aged population with only a fixed amount of productive activity remaining. If anything were to threaten the continuity of this packed technology, it could only be the irrational desires of those very people who drawn to its benefits. To abate hunger, to circumvent disease, to avoid all and sundry natural calamity, or to reproduce the sole task of leaving a descendant behind, these primate necessities remain unfulfilling. Humanity scarces for meaning and purpose within the bounds of its own existence and its creative output. Consequently, rather than intentionally, people confine to their imaginations all the desires they may let themselves apply. And that choice is made all the easier by the introduction of an innovative form of technology. Avalon has been conceived as the military RPG combat simulator. This game incorporates top-of-the-line advances in cerebral technology, making the environment open to spontaneous brainstorming-style play. While hardly alone with the multitudes of possibilities available in Shrat's Crow, it is perfectly adapted to human desire for those individuals who inhabit a stagnant world. Players needed not rely on the basic instincts of visual perception since they instead can directly input all of themselves into the gaming environments by low-frequency wave simulation, the cerebral cortex. Combat scenarios can be set within the context of the programmed gaming scenario, and the player's passions can be injected into the operative auditor. When this function is enacted, their expectations and actions during the counting of rewards determine those who are worthy of being rewarded by way of an impartial evaluation system. There is a limited number of rules to ensure that the chance is spread out evenly. Unlike the real world, outcomes can be repeatedly challenged. No wonder people get hooked on the game. Avalon was immediately sought after by gaming aficionados around the world, including a growing number of elite groups called parties. There was, however, a controversial aspect to this game, and that is that it proposes a world full of destruction mass murder, betrayal, self-serving infants so everybody has to face the truth, and the unrestrained search for answers to discover the meaning and purpose of it all. It is the human epic as people look to find something solid in this ever-changing struggle. Avalon also gave birth to the Nine Sisters, legendary programmers endeavoring to broaden the playing fields to incorporate new trial enhancements into this world inhibited by savage hunters. And one of these artificial status is social prey in world people call Avalon, F. Ashimi Mamoru, Assault Girls, 2009 Chapter 11 Dream Sequence 4 at USAF Virtual Reality Hybrid Research Beta, October 17, 2020